another day, another headache for Joy Reid and MSNBC. Actually, make that multiple headaches, all going back to the long, embarrassing trail that Reid has left online. Adam has more. The documentary Loose Change is a staple for 9-11 conspiracy theorists. Why are they hiding from us? What are they hiding from us? And what's it going to take until people in this country give a damn and do something about it? And it turns out MSNBC's Joy Reid might be one of them. This week, BuzzFeed revealed that back in 2006, Reid's now-defunct blog, The Reid Report, called Loose Change worth a second look. That's the same blog Reid recently claimed was hacked by someone who added backdated anti-gay commentary to make her look bad. I genuinely do not believe I wrote those hateful things. But this week, more eyebrow-raising old posts surfaced, including one that said former Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad had a point when he suggested Israel's Jews move to Europe. Another that pictured John McCain's head on the body of the Virginia Tech shooter. And another that was, well, take it away, Tucker Carlson. She wrote a satirical piece about Tony Blair's son visiting gay bathhouses in the U.S. Spicy. None of which boosts Reed's credibility as a network commentator in 2018. And if you don't quite think that people are exactly like you, they're not our kind of people, if you're able to think of people as somehow less a person than me, it makes it a lot easier to then take that next step. Now Reed is voicing deep regret for things she wrote in the past. And MSNBC says she's grown and evolved, which might be enough unless some more embarrassing posts pop up. The first thing that popped into my mind when they said she has grown and evolved is how often the, mo the news media is quick to accuse a politician or anybody in, in the news arena that they cover of flip-flopping or not being consistent, whether it be Mitt Romney on abortion or other things like that. And this is exactly the kind of thing. People will be able to go back and point at this and say, well, you know, why can't a politician evolve and, you know, change their position? And so, so it's a double standard is what mm -hmm. I'm getting at. And, and also, you know, the fact that she doesn't just own all of this, that she's been in this position where she says that, that she can't believe she said that, but she acknowledged saying it way back when she was, uh, when she said some horrible things about then Florida Governor uh, Charlie Crist. So, you know. To me, it's the uh, lack of ownership is, is the big problem, which I think is going to continue to haunt her. Uh, in that little clip of the apology that we played, she's, as, as you mentioned, she says, I genuinely can't believe I wrote those. She didn't accept that she wrote them. She was still suggesting that she might have been hacked. She is no longer making the hacking defense, but now it's not entirely clear what she is apologizing for. She made it very clear she's apologizing for the McCain stuff. Did not, as far as I know, specifically reference that Ahmadinejad had a point about Israel and, and you know, uh, Jews from Israel going to Europe. Uh, she clearly wants to just say, I'm sorry for anything that was bad in the mm -hmm. past, uh, and to have that apply moving forward. I'm not sure it's going to be She enough. said horrible things about Wolf Blitzer, too. I think so. Oh, right, prejudicial right. to mm -hmm. Israeli. You know, oh, yeah. has and we didn't even get into stuff like offensive yeah. to wave yeah. the Mexican right. flag in the yeah. U.S. or to nativist yeah. stuff. So, yeah. I think she's really hoping that P even though everything on the Internet lives forever, whether you've taken down the blog or not, she's really hoping that people will see that that's a different Joy Reid than this Joy Reid. And I think you have a great point about how um, politicians flip-flop, but, but news anchors or news commentators evolve. <laughs> I think it's always considered an evolution when they finally come around to the point of view their choir is espousing, and it's a flip-flop if you're highlighting the hypocrisy mm. of it. But what it really comes down to is nothing goes away forever, and if you can't own it, and she's not the one saying, yes, I believe that, I no longer do, I have moved on, I've seen the error of my ways, people are, are going to keep taking her to task for it. Well, I think the reason that uh, it's more difficult for politicians to get away with flip-flopping is not because of the media, but because their political opponents are going after them for flip-flopping. And then that gets amplified in the media. Uh, I think that Joy Reid would probably have a fairly uh, compelling case to make that I am no longer that person. The huge misstep she made was when she leveled that almost certainly phony charge that she was hacked. Yeah. Uh, that has kind of polluted everything and makes people less willing to give mm -hmm. her the benefit of the doubt. If she had owned it, if she had said, I'm no longer that person, uh, I think that she would be in better shape than she is now. I think it's great for people to evolve. I mean, over time, everyone changes. I think a lot of my personal feelings have changed over the years. 
the problem I have, though, is with MSNBC. Yes. I think MSNBC. After, the, after the first time when, when it happened, you could kind of understand, okay, let's get this cleared up and, and give her a second chance. But there comes this point where there's so much noise around your host or whoever the talent is that you just have to take a step back and say, you know what, we know there are other things out there. We know that this is not going away. This is going to continue to be a distraction for the network and will continue to be ammunition for those who are out to get us. And I think we need to cut ties. And I think for them to come out so soon and, and essentially support her, uh, I think is wrong. Why, to, why do you think they're doing it? You know, I don't know. Maybe the show's doing well. Um, money's always a consideration. So the although, Brian Williams show did well, too. Although we have seen that. It, 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 I don't know. It, it really confuses me as to why they aren't willing. We've seen a lot of different organizations now very proactive in, in cutting ties with people who are, you know, have been called out or singled out for whatever it may be in, in propriety. Uh, I think in this case they just need to act mm -hmm. because this will come back again, as everyone has yes. pointed out. Mm -hmm. there, there's more stuff out there. And uh, so this is going to be a continuing problem for NBC. I think one reason that they haven't acted to do what you're talking about is that this stuff happened before she was at MSNBC, right? If she was, right. uh, had written that, this yeah. thing, you know, I, that's that my guess. It happens a lot. I mean, people yeah. get fired for things that happen yeah. when it finally comes to light. Exactly. You know?